Hi there, folks. You see me with a mask on. It's some seriously bad stuff. Almost scares me to wear a mask. Formaldehyde paint definitely does. Yes, folks, the, uh, the paint's a bit toxic on these. It's got formaldehyde in it, which really isn't good for you. So uh, let's take this one that's dry into the museum. And let's have a little comparison to about a year ago. Let's go take a look. So, anybody expecting the uh, part two of my story of the reasons for the museum? That's um, still a work in progress. But I've just thought I'd take time to actually show you some differences that were made here at the RAF Snaith Museum over the hmm, just over 12 months. So let's uh, let's have a, a look around and a compare. So comparing this room to the first video, uh, this was the first room we made use of, so it was very hastily painted out and we hosted our first open days. But since then, things have developed and we reinstated the original kitchen and serving hatches. We made use of uh, the old toilet room there, usually full of books for people to do some reading. And a big event for this room was to open up that area there. Because last time, if you wanted to go around to the other side, we, uh, we had to walk outside and go around. In this short corridor, Obviously it's, uh, it, it's kind of in use at the moment folks, but this corridor has been blocked off there with the wood. We'll come back to that later. So folks, what we have here is quite a long corridor. At this end, um, this wasn't a door. There was actually a toilet in the corner which you can just see an imprint of and this was actually a bathroom so then we came to this area and okay very much work in progress but back then we didn't have any power and we had a lot of raised up concrete floors. They've all gone. A lot of white paint about because there's a lot of painting and things going on. So yes, all these rooms have been used for storage and they had weird ceilings in. This room um, was the first one to get a window in. And the windows, um, basically we had one original window to copy. I've now made 13 of them. So yeah, this room, this room uh, brings back memories when I was perched up there with a hammer in my hand. That did give some satisfaction. It has to be said, daylight in these rooms made such a difference. As you can see, we've uh, got some more window frames to go in. I don't even know if we uh, looked at these rooms in the first video from just over a year ago. Not slowly but surely, things are coming back to life. In this short corridor, 
Obviously, it's uh, it, it's kind of in use at the moment, folks. But this corridor has been blocked off there with the wood. We'll come back to that later. So, folks, what we have here is quite a long corridor. This was another blocked off area and again we had to go outside and come around through a different door to get into it until it was opened up. And again there was no power in here. And I don't even think this corridor was painted. It certainly didn't have the windows. We've tried to uh, match the original sort of colour that was on these walls. Kind of reminds me a bit of Ford Bibs that they used to put on the cartoons and things. So before we had to uh, come down here with a torch, as you can see there's a lot of the windows going in. And another room that's a work in progress and this is one of the end double window rooms. Which is slowly, slowly coming back together, but quite an echo. Shame the sun's not out because this room is lovely with the sun coming through that window. Still lots to do, a lot more paint to uh, put on the walls. But it does look a nice place to sit and reflect on life. Now folks, these are also bedrooms. And it's noted these end bedrooms are a little bit bigger and also have two windows. So as you can see, a lot has changed here in uh, relatively a short space of time. So yeah, just a little update video, uh, my story's coming along, that's a work in progress. And next week's video will definitely have an interesting uh, topic. Yes folks, some of you already know what's coming, some don't. Definitely uh, subscribe, ring the bell to get the notifications because there's going to be some good videos folks. Of course the work's going on outside as well and some render work going on so very much work in progress but slowly taking shape slowly bringing the history to life folks well that's it for this video folks i just thought i'd give you a little uh, sort of update and comparison as you know just show the the progress that's been made when a lot of dedicated people we have a good volunteer team put some effort in and bring things back to life it's quite mind-blowing folks so anyway on that bombshell thanks for watching liking and subscribing and stay tuned for next week when we have some interesting videos coming Catch you on the next one.